Hi Libra, I hope you're doing well. I apologize that I've been away from YouTube for quite some time. I just got back from Russia. That was my 30th birthday, so I ended up spending a lot of busy time there. And I ended up going on a retreat in the mountains. I highly recommend everyone to go on a retreat once in a while. It helped me drastically. I feel so much better. I feel so refreshed. It was amazing. Now, what else is new with me? I did get an Instagram, uh, finally, 111 underscore astrology, so if you would like to follow me on there, that would be great. I also have a new family member, a kitten, that we found recently by the dumpster. Um, he's sleeping right now, so I can't really show him to you. But yeah, that's how my life has been. And today I would like to give you a tarot reading for the summer. Um, I want to see the energies, you know, maybe there is a warning, maybe there is a new beginning, just something general for you guys, and I feel like I owe it to you. So, Libra, let's start with your reading. Libra, what can Libra expect to happen this summer in love, life? finances, career, got a few cards here, okay, more, that was too many, okay, interesting summer guys, so I didn't really plan to do reversals this time, however, five of cups did fall out and flipped um, upside down so I think that it means that I should read this card in reverse and it's I would rather read it in reverse than upright to be honest with you five of cups you you had this energy present where you were upset about something disappointed maybe you experienced a loss recently um, it could be very difficult on your emotions okay however in reverse this talks about you healing from whatever you experienced you know from the pain that's been possibly lingering from the past. Um, Five of Cups in Reverse is getting all your strength to overcome something. And I'm glad to see it in the beginning of summer. I'm glad to see that you're fighting through it, that you are possibly getting yourself out of a painful situation. So why is Five of Cups in Reverse? And you know, this could be disappointment with a lot of things. It doesn't um, have to be uh, romance, you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be many things really and it's clarified by nine of swords so yes yeah, stress is definitely there this could be something that's within you that it's hard it's hard for you to express to others you know this could be something that keeps you up at night um i'm glad to see five of cups in reverse however like i said you're overcoming that you're in the process of overcoming it however emotionally you could possibly find yourself a little bit unstable you know maybe you're still dealing with pain or maybe something happened that it's not just that easy to forget however you are finding strength to move forward which i'm really happy about now for those of you that have not experienced anything painful in the recent past i do believe that this reading is not for you uh, because it's very clear here that it's for those that have suffered in a way okay so if everything has been fine do not worry it's not something that's going to happen now okay it's uh, it's just not for you i think now the next card i have here is six of swords so I'm glad to see that you're moving on. You know, you're moving from very tough times into better times, into better environment. Uh, this could be some travel, the actual travel that's planned for you towards July, I believe, towards the beginning of July, maybe. Uh, you could experience some new, uh, you know, acquaintances, maybe some new places, some new events that's very, very... Uh, positive okay however this is also a card of you moving on from that stagnation moving on from those difficult um, times from those uh, emotions painful feelings you know that you've been experiencing this is you finally moving to the next step you healing so why is six of swords here seven of swords very interesting how it's clarified by Seven of Swords and it's kind of difficult for me to interpret because this could be a few meanings, you know. Seven of Swords here could talk about somebody deceiving you in the past and you're finally walking away from them. Uh, this could be even you deceiving yourself and you're trying to work on that psychologically, mentally. Um, this could be, again, negative people, neg negative environment that was... Uh, 
you know, that was filled with dishonesty and ungrateful people and just negative people that you could have experienced in the recent past that, again, again you're moving on from. So I'm glad to see that you are moving on from that environment, but at the same time, it kind of sucks that, you know, you had to experience something unpleasant like this in the, near, in, in the uh, recent past. Again, however, I'm glad to see that things are changing, Thing, things are shifting for you this summer. So the next card I have here is Two of Pentacles. This could be you setting yourself up for future, uh, for a new step, for a new beginning. However, you're weighing pros and cons or maybe you're not exactly sure how it's going to go. You could be very uncertain about your next steps. Uh, this could be you juggling the decisions. This could be you juggling even people, you know, situations, weighing pros and cons, being unsure, being uncertain. Uh, this could be that energy that's present with you for some time. Now let's clarify it. Why is, why is Two of Pentacles here? The Fool. Yeah, you are... And, you know, I just want to tell you that I keep seeing Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which I'm not necessarily paying attention for the bot to the bottom of the deck while I'm focusing on the spread itself. However, I just want you to know that this has been popping up. So I feel like the outcome of all this struggle is actually very positive, emotionally uh, healthy for you. Uh, but there are some things that you need to work through, okay? So the Fool. The Fool is always, not always, but the majority of time it is a new beginning. It's a zero, you know, that's where everything starts. So this is about a new start. This is about that life that you're entering after experiencing something painful. You know, uh, it almost seems like the spread is for those that just lost somebody that they loved or somebody that had a very difficult breakup, is somebody that lost their job. You know, you have to you have to face it in your life in a way. And it's difficult. You know, it's not always that easy. And with the fool here, this is about taking some kind of risks. This is about entering a new beginning in your life, entering a new life. And with all the juggling here and being indecisive and everything, it could really be difficult to picture your life without a certain person or uh, without the job that you've had maybe or, you know, without the home that you've had. You know, this could be many, many different things. However, the main theme of this spread, guys, is actually happiness. Um, it's overcoming, being able to overcome a lot of things, being able to be happy all over again. So if you're suffering, if you're having a hard time healing, just know that I feel like the spread is for you. I feel like it's telling you that things are not always going to be this way, that the change is coming, that things are going to be positive, okay, all over again. So don't be afraid of this change and don't be afraid to step into the new life because there is always completion of some sort and there's always a new cycle that comes in, there's always a new beginning with everything. It's just, it's life, okay? And the last card I have here is the world. So first of all, for those that want to immigrate, for those to, that want to move across the world to a different country, that could be the completion of that, okay? I'll just cover that right now. Now, the world could also talk about you finally finishing something up. You could have had an unfinished business throughout the whole summer that you needed to complete, that you needed to move on from. It was a hard, you know, decision. However, with the world here now, you're able to complete it. You're able to close that chapter and enter a new chapter in your life. That's what I've been saying, basically, for the whole summer here. This would happen in August, okay? Um, it's definitely a summer of healing, and it's definitely a summer of uh, accepting new beginnings into your life. So why is the world here? How amazing is this? First of all, Ten of Cups, again, at the bottom of the deck, and I clarified um, the world with the Wheel of Fortune. So karmic changes, uh, this could be you know, uh, with eclipses and everything, this could be that cycle that you're entering that's very karmic for you. Uh, it's uh, something that's 
going to be very significant, something that can change your life for the better. Um, Wheel of Fortune, yes, it is uh, fortunate events that could start happening. It could be fortunate changes. You could literally become so lucky that you don't even have to do anything for that luck. Okay, this could also just talk about uh, the wheel spinning, things finally picking up, things changing for you. Um, you just need to close that chapter, guys. You know, whatever this is, you need to move on from it so you can experience it, experience those beautiful changes, okay? So that, I feel like, is your whole summer. It's about healing. It's about stepping into a new environment. It's about not being afraid to step into a new environment. So now I'm going to ask tea leaf cards for advice or for any messages that they could have for you. So Virgo... Uh, do you have any messages for uh, Virgo? Oh my god. Libra. Do you have any messages for Libra? <laughs> um, for the summer? Do you have any messages for Libra? I don't know why Virgo is... Uh, a distant friend is thinking of you. So a lot of you could actually visit an old friend this uh, summer because I do have six of swords here and I do have the world you know so some of you could travel across the world maybe to uh, see someone that's very care uh, that's very uh, daring to you right um, this could also be support that comes from afar now uh, do you have any other messages for Libra fair woman Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, so that could also be... I feel like that could be the person from afar that will help you deal with certain things. I do want to pull one more card, though, just to be sure, uh, or just to be a little bit more specific with messages. And one more card for Libra, please, for this summer. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Karma, I mean, with Wheel of Fortune here and the world, you know, it seems like there will be some changes, not only that are out of your control, but there are also changes for the better. So you definitely need to trust the universe, you need to trust your higher self, you need to keep moving forward and know that you are protected and know that you are being taken care of by universe. So I believe that, and yeah, keep, uh, be open-minded and Keep your eyes open to suggestions, to advice that comes from your friends, possibly from somebody that is far away. Um, just keep that in mind, keep moving forward, and welcome a new beginning into your life. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.